colour I'd like to look at now is Permanent Orange from Michael Harding Oils. I don't often use a ready-made orange, but I've been messing around with this colour lately and I thought it might be fun to make a video with it. On its own, it's a very bright orange. Um, it really is tangerine. <laughs> it's great. When I put white with it, I'm always surprised that it goes slightly pinkish. It's almost got a blue note to it. That's with a warm white added to it, so I can't blame the white for the blueness. It's definitely coming from the orange. There's a really pinky tone to it. I find that surprising all the time. So I thought I'd do some other mixes with it and see what else it does. Now I did use it in a painting recently to paint high-vis jackets on some workmen and it worked really nicely for that sort of day glow orange, just a spot of local colour. But I want to see what else it does when I mix it with other colours. If I put it with cadmium yellow lemon, I want to see if it will make a more yellowy orange. And it is. Yeah, that's more the colour of an orange fruit, I guess. And a little bit of white with that. Still got that pinkish tone when I put the white with it. It's amazing. It's so warm. Sort of pinky glow to it, no matter what I do with it. It's great. I'd like to see what happens if I put it with amethyst. A lovely, rich mid-purple. See what I can get there. Gosh, that's lovely. A really rusty maroon colour. And again, a bit of white in there, see what we've got. There's that pinky purpley note again, which I guess isn't surprising given I've mixed it with purple. <laughs> That's gorgeous. What a rich colour. Just makes me want to paint this one, it's lovely. With King's Blue. Gosh, it's strong, this orange. That's making a really interesting lilac. I guess it's because there's so much red in the orange. That's fascinating. Not what I would have expected at all. I thought it would grey and it hasn't. It's gone to a really lovely purple. How about Cobalt Teal? I'm beginning to think this orange is never going to grey. There we're getting a brown, aren't we? Nice mid-value. Much more natural, cooler colour there. Sort of rich, rusty brown there. And if we try it with some alizarin claret, wow, that's gorgeous, a real berry red, fiery colour. That's really fun, that orange. It's, it's just got that amazing pinkishness to it, just coming through in everything. It's really nice to work with. I'm enjoying messing around with this one. <laughs> 